Hey guys, it's Nerf the Ninja here, and I hope you're ready to watch some Minecraft. Because so this is episode four of my um my adventure Let's Play World. Why isn't this cow following me? Hello. You wanna follow me, right? They still follow wheat, right? I know they changed pigs to carrots. Yeah, there, there they go. Pigs to carrots, um, chicken to seeds, but I think cows and, and, uh, what's it called, and sheep are still wheat. I wonder when 1.6 comes out, the leads are going to be easier to bring mobs around. But I heard they're pretty, uh, buggy and glitchy. So I made a little pen here with cobblestone fences because cobblestone is easier to get than wood. Hop on in, guys. I also lowered this one deep because I heard that that a uh, bug that makes mobs glitch out of the pen is uh is preventable if you make the um area that the mobs are in not level with the fence so they won't glitch out of it I should probably take this off so just push them in they won't follow me come on i also off camera did some more um wood getting you can barely see that birch tree right there I could just barely see it. Oh, now they're now they're rendering in. For a second, it did. Okay, we're just gonna start with two guys right here. So I kind of want the environment to still have a lot of cows and stuff. Cause that's a I think it makes your Minecraft world look more lively. We had to make this pen around the scrubber hole because I didn't have enough sand at the time to fill that in. Oh, my particles are off. Whoops. I actually think my particles are still off from. From uh, the from the episode where we turned off the uh, the rain because it was loud. Hello, little little cow. If I had a spare name tag, I would name you. Well, actually, I wouldn't because I'd have to kill you. But he didn't hear that. All right. Hope this is light enough. Oops, I was still holding my wheat. Hope that's light enough. And because I want to do uh, bookshelves, I want to get leather for the bookshelves. And be able to enchant these, put 30 levels on my pickaxe and stuffs. It's a little dark in here. Alright. Wait for those, uh, that cow to grow up and I'll keep breeding them. I think it might take a while because I think it's 20 minutes or so for an animal to grow up. I'm going to start my big build. My first home. I think I said this a couple episodes or something, but... I want to make a giant pyramid. That will be my home. It will be awesome. But it's going to take a lot of sandstone to build. And we don't have that much. I calculated that we're going to need about 5,000 pieces of sandstone for this build. That's not including the interior or anything. So that's just the exterior structure of the pyramid. And that is a lot. That's only for 50 by 50 pyramid. I was going to do 100 by 100. No, no, that's a lot bigger than I thought. 50 by 50 is way big enough. And that's not to mention other builds I want to do, like maybe a giant sphinx. I saw somebody build that on Reddit. I'll put my own flair on it, my own designs. So yeah, we, we should make a, choose a spot for this big thing. We're obviously not going to build the whole thing today. We're just going to mark out a spot and start getting... I'm going to start getting some sand and sandstone. What? This is... There's an ocean biome right here. Huh. Cool. Oh, uh, mm, I was just gonna say I, I just wasn't happy for a second that I that I uh, saw this ocean biome because I heard in 1.7, obviously 1.6 hasn't been out yet, but 1.7, they're gonna be adding more terrain updates. Like, like I think they're gonna overhaul ocean biomes. Either they're gonna change them completely, add some stuff in it, maybe some like ruins in there. I don't know. This desert is pretty small, I guess. If there's an ocean biome right behind it. Where am I going to put this pyramid? I could, I could put it right here. Huh. I thought this desert was bigger. Wood is pretty big. Maybe we can find a, um... A temple while we're at this. Anything in this pit? No. It's an odd pit, though. Alright, I think I'm going to mark out the 50 by 50 area and just take all the sand and sandstone out from inside of it. So that... 
Nobody will see the big hole we made, because we're going to cover that inside the pyramid anyways. So this is the entire desert, I guess. It's pretty small. Now I could make the pyramid right over here. There's a big flat area. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. First I'm going to get rid of this mound of sand. Yep, and then the boats, there could be a boat dock right here going off to other places in this world that we haven't explored yet. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of all this, like, this mound right here. So we have a flat area first. Exactly. Get all that sand out. I leveled off a little bit. It might be perfect right now. Let's use sandstone to signal where the pyramid will end. And let's see, where should, this should be. I want to say 50 by 50. So that we're walking on the z-axis right now. So right now, this will be the edge of the pyramid, I guess. So right here, this would be... We're at 214. So 50 this way would be 264, yeah, I guess. Yeah. So let's go... Let's go to Z264. I want to make sure I'm on the same path here. Hopefully this is big enough. We'll obviously get rid of all this water inside here. 60... Yep, this is perfect. Right here. So we'll just put some sand there first. And then a piece of sandstone. So as you can see, it's going to be pretty large. Goes out from there to there. And then we want to go 50 back that way. Well, this is... I might have to shave down that, uh... That big mound of mound. Of, well, they could make the pyramid kind of go into the go into the big sand mound there, the big dune. So now we're at and we're on the x the x axis. So we're at 148, and it goes lower this way. So I'm gonna want to go to 98. So let's go. Hopefully this doesn't go too far into this mound. No, not too far. Alright, I'm gonna get some sand in here. So I can kind of stack without messing up the environment. Okay, where are we? Are we at 98 yet? 90. It actually goes pretty far into here. So this is 98 right here. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to shave this back. Not too far back, but it's going to have to move. It's going to take a while. So now we want to go 50 blocks this way. So we're back at 264. So we want to go back to 2216. 2214. Alright, 214. Right here. Okay. And that should be in line with that block right there, which is good. Okay, so now we can start to get, we're going to start getting the sand from inside this perimeter. Because all this sand we're going to have to get away anyways, so, so it doesn't ruin all of our stuff. So now that that's good, we have that mapped out. I'm just going to take a picture of the coordinates here, in case we lose our home. We have it. But this is a pretty small desert. I was kind of hoping it would be bigger, but maybe this will be kind of cool. Some, I'll, I'll make this river nicer. I'll do some terraforming. I'll make it actually flow through. And, yeah, so you just have to kind of travel along this river. And I guess we get back to our visit village. You know what we can do? I think we're going to start a sugarcane farm because I forgot. If we want bookshelves, we're going to need to do that also. I still want the natural feel of the land, so I'm going to keep the bottom one so they can grow. Not gonna cut from these again, though. Yeah, we're right back where we are, so it's really pretty close to this village. And this is this is a very good world, also, because even if we don't want to travel off like in the water, we could always be as back there. I remember, I remember the last episode, a couple episodes ago, we found a um, extreme hills biome, not very close by, not huge hills, but it was it was good. Um, what else did we find? No, I can't put you in there. Um, let's see. I guess we could just line right here with, uh, stuff. All... I could use this whole river, actually. 
I'm gonna just go like this. It's getting late. No. Uh, nothing really to be worried about anymore. All those villagers are dead. Alright. We're obviously gonna make a better sugarcane farm eventually. There we go. See, anyway, I'm just gonna grab that sugarcane. I'll plant it in one second. Look at all the scary monsters. No, I hope that nothing happens here. Don't shoot me, please. I think I just shot the zombie. I'm just gonna quickly lay these down. Creeper, don't come up to me. Don't blow up any more stuff in this world. Two. I'm gonna fall down in that hole when I'm collecting sand, or collecting the stuff once. Before we go to sleep. Oh, they're shooting at me right now. Ow. You got me. And just, oh, look at all these creepers. It's a party. I wanna get in here. No, stay out. They can't get in, right? Oh god. They can get in. No. No. Whoa, I just can't. That guy didn't even grow up yet. Hopefully they can't escape. No, they can't. Alright, how many arrows do I have on me? 28. Let's take everybody out. Three shots, right? And who else is in my way? Let's kill these zombies. Iron. I don't want to hit that cow. I, I was I, I swear I was aiming right at that zombie's head. I'm sorry. And you picked up the iron. You dropped the iron. Kill you. Alright. And there's a lot of Endermen. Another Enderman party like we saw last time. Creeper stuck in the hole right there. Uh huh. Alright. And we don't have a axe. Let's use... Come on. When you switch items now, it has to restart the animation. Let's get down here. Let's breed these guys. Yeah, I have to fix that so mobs can't get in the pen when I'm in it. Who shot me? Alright, so it's first. No creepers, no creepers. Oh, this is, they're gonna be able to get in with that. At least. Come on. Just, just. Stop hitting me for a second, skeleton. Now. Die. Die. Nobody likes you. Just collect this XP. And I hope these endermen don't start destroying this, uh, desert by picking up all the blocks. Hopefully these cows don't jump out. Because they can jump out right now. Or hopefully a creeper doesn't walk up right behind me. Creepers? Nope. Alright, we're good. And they're just carrying all the blocks, all three of them. They all have something in their hand. Come on, you, got, you guys can have some more sexy time now, right? Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys alone, and I'm gonna go to sleep. I wanna place it down this crafting table over here. I'll put it down right there. You can't get into the pen. Okay, get to the house. Fast. Alright. And... Look at those guys. Is that a skeleton in that armor? Let's see if I can get some gold armor right here. Move, move, zombie. How many it's gonna take to kill you? I'm gonna waste all my arrows here. I don't have a, a chicken farm yet, so I can't have unlimited arrows. But you could have a mob trap to have unlimited arrows. Oh yeah, I'm juking you. Oh, you got me. You got me again. Got me again. Got me again. <laughs> but I got your arrows. Nope, nothing. Okay, let's go to so oh, chainmail. We gotta get this chainmail. Let's cross our fingers. We get to oh zombie villager. We don't have a golden apple or a brewing stand, so go away. And we got a carrot, but no chainmail armor. How sad. A uh, easier way to just get chain armor is have a zombie uh, spawner and just keep uh, waiting there for, until you get one. 
You, I usually got mine from that in the old worlds. Alright. So go to sleep. Oh, I'm just tired right now. In Minecraft and her life. Didn't get much sleep last night. I hear Enderman teleporting. And... I'm gonna get back to work. It's boring. Whoops. I've just been waiting around here. I've been farming. I've been getting more sand from over there where we're gonna build our pyramid. I've been breeding them ever so often. I've, now that sugarcane line is getting longer and longer and longer. But it's just a lot of work because I'm just wait. I want to get uh, the bookshelves in this episode. So I'm just waiting for those cows and stuff to grow up, but they take forever to grow up. In the meantime, I guess I'll fix my little home up. That would be uh, productive. I don't actually know the way this went, though. So let's start by... Alright, it looks like... Okay, that didn't move, so this was a row of the smooth stuff so let's first let's get a bunch of our yeah i got a lot of sand now it's not gonna be enough for our uh big builds but it's good enough for now to put in perspective guys we're gonna need about i think eight full inventories full of regular sand to build our pyramid eight full inventories full it's a lot Alright, so let's go like this. Yeah, it had to be like this, right? Just go from memory. I'm not looking at any pictures of villages or anything. We're gonna need some more of this stuff. Let me make some stairs. Alright. And let's just go out like this, so whoops. That's not what we want to do. I like how sandstone is so easy to break. It's very easy material to use. So this was probably that. I'll go like this. Alright, it's already looking better. So if that was like that, I'm guessing this was symmetrical. And now the path was all sandstone. So let me get some more sandstone. Do I have any sandstone? It's like... No. I'm just gonna make a stack of the stuff because I keep having to make it. Alright. So we have a stack of the sandstone. And now we will finish this path. Okay. And that was regular sand, I'm guessing. Should also get some of that. Sand. Why is that like that? Shouldn't that be sandstone? I remember that was weird. It was like, there was a weird, like, step there. And it actually looks, looks weird. I'm going to change that up. It may have been there, but we're going to have to make things look better. Okay. So that looks normal. So now, let's see. Let's look at one of the other houses that are... That is the biggest house. So it is going to be different. This one's similar. Okay. So I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to change this to... Smooth. Here's our smooth. Here's our smooth. Make this smooth. This will be sandstone. And then I'll go... That, and I'll have a window... There. Okay. Whoops. Having some troubles. That looks nice. Looks a little awkward. This is our own home, let's make it, we can spice it up if we want to. Make it a little bigger, 
A little bigger window. There. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, you know what? We lost the sign we made the other episode with the creeper. Did you ever blow up the sign that said, The House of Nerp? Oh, no, I'm not going to remake that. It's fine. It's coming into our own house. We're going to be moving out as soon as possible, though. Um, get this stuff back in the chest. Put the stuff back in my hotbar. I'll breed the cows right now. Let's see how they're doing. Whoop. Oh, I thought I just jumped on. I think I did jump on it, but it didn't break off. That's so annoying when that happens. So this is how many cows I have so far from the two I've been breeding. So let's see how many. Can you guys in the back breed? No. They just breeded these guys pretty recently. There we go. Two of them are breeding. Anybody else breed? Nope. Oh, there's a guy. Does he, have, does he have a mate? Does he have a partner? I don't know. There we go. Okay. So I'll wait for those ties to grow up. And now what? Let me think. What could we do? Hmm. I have been getting more sand. I remember the last episode we left off all those ores in that cave that we did not get. I want to wait until I have a fortune pickaxe. I was lucky. I thought I broke it again. I have to wait until I have a fortune pickaxe so I can maximize the amount of coal and redstone and lapis I get. And I don't really want to go down there just for the iron. It's kind of a waste of time if I'm going to be going down there anyways with a fortune later. So... I guess that I really stop jumping around here. I guess you just start getting more sand. But we're gonna test out here. This river, let's see how far we can travel in it. Alright, just in case one boat breaks. We don't need to carry around the wheat, do we? No we don't. Okay, so we'll. S I want to start at the edge of the river. Or how we'll travel both ways. We'll start going this way. I'm not even sure if this leads into the ocean. I hope it does. Yes, we'll we'll make this look nicer. We will. We will take out all the clay that's here so we can use it with bricks. And boats are hard to use. I don't really use them much in Minecraft. Up, oh, slow down, slow down. I barely slowed down. I have to widen this river. That was close. I think you're gonna like look at all this dead squid. Trying to pick them up. This is pretty hard to navigate in this thing. You guys are seeing me fail right now. Ah, I can't. I can't fit. Okay. I can't. I can't. I, can't. I thought. I think that's in. I think 1.6 now. Or the snapshots. You can hit stuff from the boat. Okay, so I'm widening the area. Let's get back in the boat. I'm stuck on the land right now. Let's get in the water because that's where boats belong. And it looks like we're going to need to dig out more area. Oh, you can. You, you have to get it. You have to be. My boat's rocking too much. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get across that whole thing. How many hits does it take to break the boat? One, two, three, four, five. So, oh, I have to do it like in succession rapidly. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is it? <laughs> okay, we're going to have to really connect these rivers. Make them look nice. And it... Yeah, at least into the ocean if we cut this open. And then we don't know what's over there. Maybe we can find more villages. Other inhabitants. Yeah, so I flattened this out a little bit. But I want to take on this whole level one more also because this is down here. And I think we will have it cut into, like, the pyramid will kind of be, like, dug into the dune. 
So it got, so ha, so it looks like it's been there a long time. That would look cool. Are these gonna get in the way? Yes, they are. Just quickly get rid of them. Cactus, cactus, cactus. You should be able to use cactus for more things. We have a lot of cactus. Oh, we actually didn't explore the whole desert here. I thought that was a whole desert. We have more over there. It's not much, but I'll check it out as soon as we go to sleep here. And check out if these those guys want to breed again. So let's go to sleep. In our newly fixed up home. This village still has no uh, doors. I guess we'll re-add the doors when we fence off the village so zombies can't get in. It's all lit up inside and we have villagers that can actually go in them at night. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I meant to check out... I mean, I meant to breed the cows first. What's wrong? We only have eight arrows left. It's not going to be enough if we get another uh, mishap like before. Anybody grow up? So, yeah, some peak, some guys grow up. Okay. Let's go you and you. You and you. And you and you. Alright, so everybody, all the adults were able to uh, breed right now. Nobody else? Okay, it's good. Now we have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 cows. We're definitely making progress here. You know what? I'm going to make chest here so I can have the wheat over here so I don't have to always remember it. I'm not going to make a double chest. I usually make double chests. Alright, so now we have that in there. And let's check out our desert. After I just after we see if we can't find like a uh, another village, maybe maybe there will be a um, desert temple, a pyramid. After we look, after we check out the rest of the desert, I'm going to um, I'll just cut out until we have enough cows and stuff to start doing the enchanting. Look like a very very really exciting desert here. Just goes along the coast. Maybe I can make some sort of water base. Nah, I like the pyramid idea. Maybe we'll do something like that eventually. Being very ambitious here early in the world, but first we actually have to get started. We haven't even made bookshelves yet. Yeah, looks like this desert ends right over there, and there's a forest. More plains? Is that the extreme hills, or is that just a hill in the plains? It's a lot of cactus here. Um, yeah. Let's just hop over here. I don't want to load too many chunks, because oh, there's more land. Just in case, because I want to, I want the... In case we go in caves, I want to find dungeons with name tags and horse armor for 1.6, and 1.6 has not come out yet. Speaking of that, have you guys checked out the new launcher yet? You can download it on their page. I could be sounding kind of retarded right now because this video could go out after 1.6 is out. But, if it is, so be it. But the new launcher, I think it it's... I think it's better for the long run, but right now it looks kind of weird to people who play Minecraft. It looks kind of like, um, not very finished. It's all white, and it doesn't look as pretty as the old one. But it has better features and stuff. It's going to make, eventually, you're going to be able to like put in mods so much easier. And that would be good. Actually... I mean, mods aren't that hard to put in right now. Some are when you need, like, Minecraft Forge to do them, or, like, Mod Loader. Then it, then it gets a little tricky. So let's check out where these cows are at now. Whoops. 
And I'll replant the sugar cane. The reeds. You know when, uh, when Mojang, uh, renamed the reeds sugar cane? Not exactly sure when. Because ever since I started playing the game, there was, they were called sugar cane. They were never called reeds. Well, I started in, I started in 1.25. Which was last year, 2012, I got it, like, the very, very beginning of the summer. So as soon as I got it, there are already people saying, oh, 1.3 is coming out very soon. And I believe 1.3 was the update with the jungles. I believe that also made it so enchantments only went up to 30 and not 50. I may be mistaken. Alright, let's quickly plant all these. Yeah, soon this whole river is going to be filled up with sugar cane. Oops. Don't want to do that. And we're at the edge. So we'll start looping around now. Alright. Eat some delicious baked potato. And I'll go check out the cows. I wonder if any of them will actually eat the stuff. Let's see, are any of them ready to breed again? You are. You are. You and you. Oh, we have two more babies. Um, how far are we in the video? Let me just check how much time we have left. Actually, uh, got to 30 minutes, so this is actually a full episode. I thought it was going to be a little short, but it is a full episode. Sorry we didn't, we weren't able to... We have a lot of cows now, but we weren't able to do the enchanting this episode. But, I promise we'll do that next time, because now we actually have a cow farm that has a lot of cows, and we have a lot of sugar cane here. Ah, shoot, I forgot to leave the wheat over there. So, thanks for watching, everybody. And, please give it a rating. Like it if you uh, thought it was a good video. Dislike it so I know uh, most videos should not be like this. And yeah, general feedback is always appreciated. So, I thank you all for watching. This has been Nerp the Ninja, signing off.